Welcome back to Let's Play Heavy Rain. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester, here with the Niskull. I always love it when we start an episode Less with Dial Tone, Dad. We heard from the police who have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Origami killer? Why can people not say that? Is it like a European thing again? I keep asking that. No, I think it's just, you know, a tomato-tomato kind of thing, even though they're wrong. <laughs> it's not called Okami, is it? No, it's Okami. <laughs> of course, yeah. All oh, right, we're missing a, a pinky. Yeah, we cut off our pinky in the last episode. It hurts. It 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 did hurt. Madison. And Madison's here to, of course, you know, oh you. Ethan, oh Ethan, I respect to help. Kind of oh Ethan, because she helped us escape from the police too. Oh, that's right. Food. Oh wait, no, that's that says followed. <laughs> yeah, food. Yeah, food. I like what, I want food. Feed you me. Followed you. She helped you. I wanted to know. Are you single? You were all over the news reports, Ethan. I love Every cop that in the jacket she has on. It looks great. It's like a whole bunch they of classic Japanese art on it and everything. It's like, dude, want. Is it God, true? you're such a weeb. <laughs> <laughs> I can name the exact artist who did it, too. Do you mean I have his, all, all of his mangaka? Because I'm don't about know. to break. I don't know. But I'm the only one who can save Sean. So... The narrative for Heavy Rain You're is that there are four characters, mm -hmm. and oh, they, can, or yeah, any of the other too. side characters, could potentially be the origami killer. Now. now, do you think Ethan is the origami killer? Uh, I don't want to say it's that obvious, but that was my first choice. It'd be really stupid if he was the origami killer, wouldn't it? A little bit, but... Why, you know, why, like, why would he send a box to himself to save his son and all that shit Sometimes like that? It makes he has like blackouts. That. He's afraid of train stations. It makes Sometimes literally I no sense, though. There's no way that he could have been able to set all this stuff up. It's, it's absolutely impossible. But he's thinking that these blackouts different. mean that he's the killer. The and from a narrative standpoint, it keeps the suspicion on him. But it doesn't make sense. The bodies. Okay. The bodies so, the what's the twist? Well, we'll get there. Okay, we'll get there. But the, the game's going to try and tell you that Ethan might be Why the origami killer, been? and I'm just going to tell you right right here, right now, again, he is not. I think my other cool, then it's Madison. He's, he's saying, oh, it's my, it's my other self. Oh, whenever I go in these blackouts, I put myself through these tests to see if I really love Sean. Because I'm a bad just, Sean no. I don't hear because I'm blacked out and I'm the origami killer. Yeah. Why can't you tell that Well, maybe you and I can... Toss around some hypotheses, and we can uh, come to sort of a, a, a joint agreement, a hybrid theory, if you will. I want to say, the, uh, uh, yeah, you got me there. Oh, I just, I just want to say that I really hope the big twist is Ari did it. <laughs> no, it wasn't me. It was my AI. I'm sorry, Ethan. I can't allow you to do that. He, it, it just smacks... It electrocutes <laughs> Jane. You are no longer <laughs> in control, Jane. The, the glasses just start floating. <laughs> oh my god! Finding Sean I will get the high score in Ball. Just you watch me. There has to be another way. Yep, gotta cut off my middle finger. You don't understand. <laughs> Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice. I <laughs> have no choice! Okay. You don't want to go with a second take there? Please. Everyone just looks so exasperated to Please. be in this game, though. I'm gonna look up these actors. I wanna see if they're actually in anything that's worth a damn. A couple of them are. Madison, not so much, but uh, Jaden, he's, he's been in a few me. things. He's, he's pretty good. Leave. Let's see. I haven't looked up Scott Shelby yet, and I think Ethan Mars is in a few things, too. But they're like British, European actors. Ah, okay. Let's see. Heavy rain behind the voice actors. Uh, Sam Douglas is Scott Shelby. Pascal Langdale. Oh, that is very British. Very, very British. Very British. So Madison leaves because we don't want her to get hurt. You know, yada yada, all, all that stuff. Wow, and, uh, Pascal, you look like Dial Tone Dad. Well, yeah. Holy crap. That's what mocap does to you. Oh, well, that's true. Uh, his only role is Dial Tone Dad. <laughs> oh, oh, really? <laughs> yes, that is uh, that is his only role. Norman Jaden, Leon Okenden. Okenden. That's a young looking dude. Are we doing? Uh, are we doing anything important? We're doing a dial tone joke, and now it's over. God, I love dial tone jokes. I didn't think it'd be as funny as it was. Everyone, I mean, the box. 
It's freaking hysterical. I have Can you imagine watching a game like here. this? Like this? I don't have much time. And I've then just imagining the characters just late. staring blankly in, into the... But like, I, 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 will, I will defend Heavy Rain to a point. Because there are a lot of really good moments in here, and it's just... I'll find you, Sean. I perforated by you. absolute monotony. I think we talked about this on uh, between two specific developers. I'm not going to name the other one. But uh, you like Heavy Rain from a narrative standpoint. I hate it from a gameplay standpoint. Right. Having to do all that monotonous shit is is, is not a game. But like I've like I've also said before, um, Heavy Rain does a lot of really good things with this sort of narrative kind of slow time event type shit. But it's been done better by other people. In fact, you could argue it's been done by David Cage. Anybody play Indigo Prophecy? Well, that was his previous game, and, uh, well, we haven't got to the sex scene on that one yet. <sighs> Have you seen the sex scene in Indigo Prophecy? That's one of the only PS2 games that's rated AO because of his, uh... He, he wanted to have these blocks of wood try and kiss. That's kind of what it looked like. It's like, you, you, you could literally hear the... When they, when they collide. And that's the sound when they're actually doing the... Yeah, okay. Well, try and wash her face, I guess. I mean, a little hard to do with uh, nine fingers. I was just know. about to say that, damn it. <laughs> I can only count to nine. You gotta be quicker. I guess I do. But, just avoid that. Ooh, ooh, the mini fridge. Can I just say, I would love it if Ethan just coughed up glass right now. Because we should still be dying from that, and there's nothing in the fridge. <laughs> How depressing. Why did you put that in there? <laughs> Well, maybe it came with the motel. You ever think of that smart guy? Why would you put the opening of the fridge to nothing and him going, huh, why would you put that in your game? Well, I mean, we got some carbonated water over there. We could put that in there. Well, let's head on to the next trial, which we'll uh, tackle on the next episode. Have you ever had carbonated water? Yeah, but not intentionally. It's fucking gross. Have you ever had a Sprite that didn't have the sweetener in it? That's carbonated water, basically. Basically. No, fl it's like no flavor, but uh, basically, we gotta kill a man now. Oh, good. Go to this address. Go to the guy who lives there. Kill him. Okay. Uh, going from that sadistic standpoint, I'm gonna say the new prime suspect is that asshole cop. Well, that's a good theory to have. I called it, didn't I? Hmm. I let's, called it, didn't let's, I? Just play, let's just play the game. Right now we're uh, switching okay. back over to Norman Jaden here. Ari, please tell me how to play Moonlight Sonata. Da 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 da. I could easily da. fuck up here, but there is a trophy for playing everything perfectly. Oh, really? So I'm going to uh, go for it. I'm going to do just that. I tell you though, I wish playing piano was this easy. Yeah, I mean, with me. Uh, actually, from looking at this, it reminds me of the old Tom and Jerry cartoon. There, he's playing this <laughs> lavish, amazing piano piece, and his fingers are just going all over the place. And then the time that uh, Bugs Bunny totally ripped them off. <laughs> well, do you remember when Bugs Bunny shot a dude for coughing? Oh, yeah. It was brilliant. <laughs> So, uh, you ever seen The Shining? Yeah. Oh, which one? The new one or the old one? The, the 19... Vodka, sir. The, one. the 1981. Okay. The Stanley Kubrick version. Thanks. Yes. I mean, come on. Look at this scene. White man's burden. White man's look, burden. Occupied. <laughs> if you don't mind my saying. Look at that piece of modern art there back in the left. Problems with the investigation? Because I can't tell if this person, like, Blake is really here or not. Mars is the killer. Not you. I thought there was some evidence to that it's effect. Like, well, well Jaden. That's true. You've always been here. But it just doesn't make sense. In here. His with psychological us. profile doesn't fit. Neither I know it's does not the shining, geolocalization. But it's as good a reference as anything. I can't yeah, see I this father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. Oh good. He he's Mars thinking positively too. Killer. It can't be dial tone dad. I'd stake my life on it. Nobody's him. that stupid. Then who is? I am in the faintest fucking idea. <laughs> Maybe you should so review the evidence in your possession. Jayden's voice actor. This is the only That's thing he's done. Of doing. Really? Yep. I thought they'd been in more stuff. Oh, one last thing, sir. 
You have to do an IMDB you sweep here soon. Be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Yeah, don't Very overindulge dangerous. in the drugs. Dun, dun, dun. I'm trying to keep it yeah. Yeah. Because uh, it turns out all the drugs we've been Gets taking hasn't more. really affected us at all. But there is one moment It'll end up where you have a choice to careful. take the drugs or not. And that it could be either uh, be good or it could fuck everything up and probably kill them. Cool. Which one did I choose? Well, we'll uh, I'll uh, get to that when we ask that question. <laughs> I can't remember. For these uh, next couple of episodes, did I give you a response to something? A couple of them. But uh, not, not recently here. Okay. Hello, Ari. So, we got a couple more clues that we can look at, but uh, let's change our environment first. Good. We got the usual scene. We got, we're on the surface of Mars. And uh, you know, we got uh, you know, my favorite one here. You know, We're on the, the hills of Up, so we'll go ahead and use that one. Ah. Very nice. Very lovely. Excellent. Would love to actually walk around here and you know do stuff in it, but you know that's cool. But uh, we've also got a hidden fourth one as well. Really? Water? Underwater! That's cool. That's cool. This is just what I need to think. Take a deep breath. <gasps> so, check our clues here. Well, well. Looks like there's something new. The video recording from near the park on the afternoon Sean Mars disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but please you tell know. me it shows you all your fuck ups of being a bad dad. This is a near automata. Damn it! So take take a look at this uh, surveillance here. Okay. What do we find? A Chevrolet model corresponding to the Ooh, tire prints passed found the it. Mm. heading for the park. When in the opposite heading direction of 1637, heading that could fit the time that Sean Mars disappeared. So we got one Chevrolet that that. Uh, Fits the tire marks found near the scene of several of these other crimes. Good. So this could this could be it. Uh, pity we can't see the driver's face. We can't see his face, though. That's the only thing. Ain't that always the situation? The car was stolen. So it's a stolen see. car. Jackson never was suspected of stealing it. So you can't figure out who the stole it. Dropped. Not I mean, you can identify who the owner is. We know who the we know who the owner is, and we have an idea about who might have stolen it, but uh, you know, not enough evidence to actually make the charges stick. Okay. But here's his ID card for the guy who did steal it. Wait. Mad Jack. Wait, so Jackson how do we Neville, have the ID AKA of the guy who stole Mad it? Mad Jack, involved in Keeps several cases of buying and selling vehicles. <laughs> but I gotta ask dangerous. questions. This guy might have provided Mad the Jack. with a car. Is that the guy from Mad World? Slim lead, but it's all I no. have right now. That's Jack Cayman. That's Black Jack or Black Baron. <laughs> oh, I'm back to reality and not underwater. So now it's time to have another withdrawal scene. Take the drugs. 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 Do I want to go? Ari, please let me go. Not to overindulge. He's been using Ari a little too much. He should probably take some cocaine. So my Very guess, I'm, I'm just theorizing here, Shit. It's, the triptocaine it's here coming. over there, Triptocaine. it's supposed the to offset the, the headaches and the disassociation you get from using Ari too much. But it has severe, severe effects on the body. Me. So why would you keep using Ari if it fucks you up this bad? Because he's stupid, I don't know. Goes away. I so, won't. for this one, we gotta make sure we do what we can, just to not... We're, we are automatically moving towards the tryptocaine. Our body is oh, automatically seriously? moving, so we gotta... Oh, I'm gonna lay it down a little bit and just... Press circle, press circle, press circle, press circle. Or hold it. Do little jazz hands on the edge of the bed here. God, I'm I'm done, done with being on bed. Okay, so now we're gonna make our way back over to the trip again, but we can shake the controller <laughs> to kind of make us kind of huh, lurch Whoa, back here. No, no, no. Lean back! <laughs> step back! Whoa! Step back! Whoa! Oh, give oh. me this ice cold uh, cola. I'm pretty sure that's vodka. Oh, smash it over your glug, head. Glug, 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 gl
more. <laughs> more. Oh, more. Oh, oh, to get rid of my drug addiction, I'll turn myself into an alcoholic. <laughs> Hork. Oh my god, he's. God, what a lightweight. Yeah, I can't even drink two swigs of 150 proof vodka. Ah, oh, come, come on, on, that was easy. We did come that like on, last yeah. month. Come on. <laughs> Please never again. Oh, I'm in the forest again. That's what happens when you drink good whiskey, man. <laughs> <laughs> You'd go into the forest and try to fight a drug addiction? Of course. Oh, well, obviously. So that's what I was doing on the floor. Step back. I gotta take the trip, though. I gotta take the trip, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, playing Smash Brothers on the floor when you can't see the screen—that's the best way to play. So I'm guessing there's like other things here I can do to like Ugh. not do it. Like maybe I can jump out the window and oh, I, perfect. I'm guessing that's get some air. <sighs> Awkwardly, jaggedly, and still woodenly. Oh, calm down, Mr. there. So close. All I have to do is take it, and everything will be fine. Bro, calm down. I, I, I thought calm down said chow I time. I need it now. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. I could really use a shower right now. I am in withdrawal. If I resist, I'll get over it. You will, will you? I, I doubt that, no sir. No more drugs. I'm, I, I'm not going to make it if I start again. <laughs> no more. No more drugs. A shower. <laughs> no! No pillow for no me! No not today. Take a shower. Take I need shower. to get rid of it. It's the only way. I'm going to flush it down the toilet. All right, flush oh. it down the toilet. So I'm thinking maybe I can go over there. And no, like... no, no. He's going to take it. He's going to take it. Yeah, maybe I can. No, no, he's going to take it. Yeah, I, I can pick it up and I can throw it away. But no, maybe I can. All right, so I take it. That I uh, pick it up and then I uh, automatically take it. All right, whatever. Well, it doesn't really end the hallucinations, but at least it makes me not wobble woozy around anymore. I beg to differ. Uh, better use some more. It's like an inhaler for death. And the inhaler is filled with meth. Ah, uh, death meth. Well, time for uh, Scott Shelby now. In his ongoing investigation into the origami killer. Origami. Origami. Tomatoes. Fold, uh, uh, Japanese folded paper murderer. Pecan. <laughs> Pickin'. <laughs> hey, Lud Lud Ludwig von... I'm too high to finish it. Well, that's for uh, uh, playing the piano perfectly. Oh, cool. Here we are now at Manfred's Antiques. It's a clock shop. Hmm. Now, we are here, uh, I think due to the letter that uh, Lauren had, or at least the typeface on the uh, envelope. Open up the letter. Go to the clock shop. Well, we're going here because Man, he also, uh, it's like an antique shop, pretty much. There's a lot of clocks Man, here, please. but uh, you see there's typewriters, too. So what we're here for is we're here to figure out what typewriter the killer may have come. used on that, uh, on, that on that on that envelope. You know, I'll have to talk to her later. This is Captain Hook's worst nightmare. What was that meeting with Charles Kramer at the golf club really about? Why is he so worried about oh, me? Oh, sweet, let's save her stuff? progress. <laughs> Nothing much changed here. Just the dust and the clocks ticking on and on. Uh huh. Well, we've got time. Let's, what else? Uh, let's just shoot the shit here. Uh, Manfred. Oh, there he is. Hello. Hi there, Manfred. Who is it? Scott. Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? Vaguely, have I seen you on TV before? Oh, yes, yes. You're, that, oh, you're that wonderful yes, man who was well, that uh, the blue monster you. in Monsters Incorporated. Oh, you're my favorite oh, actor. No, Manfred, I'm not John Goodman. Oh. You could be. Oh, I loved you in 13 Cloverfield Lane. I... I Ten pair of clocks, but whatever. I Thirteen to sounds more <laughs> ominous. I think ten sounds more what ominous. About you? Thirteen I mean, is like, yeah, always a good. I don't like it, but ten. Oh. What about ten? Something about no, ten. Just, mm. I'm a private ten. investigator now. Uh, well, fine. Lord, the original she, title uh, was thirteen, but they subtracted Hello. three points for the crap oh, ending. Oh, young lady. Have you seen the Cloverfield Paradox? No. Well, don't this, see the Cloverfield. This calls for a celebration. 
I've just you think it's I, interesting, but then you finish that. it, and it's like, that was not interesting. I, I'm sure I, I saw Time for a, some a scotch. Yep, you're going to get some scotch, drink somewhere. to old times, and then we'll get down to business. Awesome. Hopefully I don't keel over before you can ask me your question, and I can answer. Oh, no, I absorbed the youth of children. I'll be living for another couple decades. Did I mention I'm the origami no killer? Don't tell anyone. If you Scott, tell them to call back this afternoon. Okay. Sure, no problem. Hello? Ghostbusters, what do you want? Yeah, this, <laughs> we got one! Not available right now. Could you call back later? So <laughs> rear, rear. I did it. All right. Now about that scotch. Please nice tell me to you see got Manfred the goods. Again. Just the like real old, old stuff. I'm keeping an eye on her too. Oh, what do you? Don't touch! Don't, don't touch shit! Don't fucking go and smack her hand. <laughs> no. Don't. Well, to old friends. Fills with poison. Bottoms up. <laughs> Just to hold a cheers for way too long. God. I want another. Yeah, okay, sounds good. Wait, you didn't finish your shot? It's a shot, Shelby. What kind of alcoholic are you, man? He didn't finish he didn't his finish either. He didn't finish his either. It must be an old man thing. Then, then again, that's scotch. That's yeah, Oh, yeah, beautiful. you gotta shoot it. Well, what we had was bourbon whiskey. That's scotch. Okay, never mind. I, I've had scotch. It's, it's not good. Century. Mm. It's one of my favorite pieces. You want it? It's only five dollars. Tell me, Scott. Uh, it's 2012. What oh. brings you back? And I guess it's 2012. After all these years. I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. Right here. Oh. Mm, let's let's see. Uh, yep, that looks like type from a typewriter. Now, could you pass They all pretty the, much have uh, the same font, don't they? Magnifying glass from behind the counter. Oh, sure. All right, magnifying glass. Right, Where can I find a magnifying glass me. from behind the counter? I swear, if we find a barcode on these on right these here. type letters. Oh, yeah, that typewriter. It, it came from mine. Did I mention I'm the origami killer? Don't tell anyone. <laughs> it pointed it out to you. Yep, there it is. Really? That is helpful, though, so I I, 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 I gotta thank the game. I, I mean, it is, but it's still really funny. <laughs> I, I didn't see a prompt, though. Just, well, whatever. Whatever. Here's your half of glasses here. Oh, thank you. It's time to type the writer. What? Hello, are you Thanks. my grandson? <laughs> it's me, Scott Shelby. Oh, it's Gregory, it's, it's been forever. No. A royal five. Royal five, whatever that mm, is. Yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. Mm, produced between 1907 and 1924. Damn. Good year. Yes. No doubt about it. It's a royal five. So, a royal five typewriter. Now we just gotta find people who have a uh, Royal 5 typewriter and narrow it down. These typewriters, but are they are rare? They rare? No, no, they're fairly common. Shit. Mm. I'd say many folks oh, have no. gathering dust in well, their Well, uh, that was a bit of a... In their cellar. A little bit of a dead end. Or is it? Hmm. Anybody buy one are recently? Are there many places around that could prepare one of these? I bought the company's entire stock as spare parts for a song in... Uh, 64. So, if you want to get this Royal 5 fix, and you have a Royal 5, and it breaks, which, of course, it's a nearly 100-year-old uh, really typewriter, of course it will. This is the only place in town, or probably in the country, where you could probably get it fixed. That's you keep a pretty a great detail. This guy knows what's up. Yeah, he does. Indeed. Well, at least the ones who pay. Maybe, he may be on <laughs> in years, but his mind is still as sharp as ever. Yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Ooh, yay! Okay, in a hurry, are we gonna get a familiar a name? Please tell me we're gonna get a familiar name. Yeah, we're gonna see if we can't find a lead here. There's gotta be some repair. kind of lead yeah, here, because really we're, we're kinda zeroing in a little bit, aren't we? Yes! Show me... Show me the money. Alright, so he's gonna go get 
the books there. Show me potato salad. Give me the goods. You think the killer's been here? If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. Man, list of suspects. I'm excited. And then he was shot in the back. I guess she really likes that box, doesn't she? It's beautiful. And it doesn't fit in the box. Yeah, I know, right? Ah, jeez, what are you doing enjoying stuff? Uh, I guess I better uh, go help Manfred out and see what he's up to. Enjoying stuff's only for men. <laughs> That's terrible. I got anything else? Oh, I got a door back there, but uh, right what, do we, what do we got back Hello? here? Manfred! Hello? Your call is lost. Oh, he's dead. Oh, hey, I called it. In a few minutes. Somebody I offed him. He's been are, offed. Sir? Hello? How, though? I don't know. That was some damn strong scotch. Oh, I guess. God. He's dead. We didn't hear oh. anything. He's just dead. So, it must have been a knife, then. So, here's what happened. Somehow, the killer came in, probably left through that window or whatever, Scott? killed him, called 911. Oh my god. So now, 911, the police, are the on police. their way. The killer right has now. already called the police. I think he wants us to be his scapegoats. We gotta get the hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time so to find So, this John Mark. episode can end one of two ways. You get caught or you don't. We get caught and then we just well, spend the day, so you know, uh, answering questions at a police station, wasting time. Or we get out and we continue our investigation. So, taking a little bit of a page from a scene in Indigo Prophecy, we've got to wipe our fingerprints off of everything that we've touched since we came in here. Oh, no! Everything. Everything. Oh, no! However, though... Do you know how difficult it is to get prints off of a crime scene? Yeah. You can't even guarantee, but apparently, if we miss any fingerprint on anything, Crime Lab will immediately find our fingerprints and immediately tie it to us what are you doing, and Mark? immediately Someone pick us in, up. We're gonna be in trouble. When that process would take days, weeks, even months, if Let's things are backed up in Pittsburgh, Gagiania, whatever we are. <laughs> So, I know, uh, Lauren touched the music box. So, we got that. Uh, anything over here? Uh, we, we touched to the, uh, we touched the magnifying glass. There, there's, there's, like, a whole list of things that we gotta do here. So, let's start with over here with the phone that we call, that, uh, we used to tell someone that. Right, uh, yeah, right. So we got we that. to the phone. They made sure to show that. Yep, got that, too. Make sure you get all that. All right. Uh, next. Uh, so we're being timed right now, correct? Pretty much, yeah. Okay. I think we got we're pretty generous because uh, we we didn't oh, touch yeah. anything. I made sure not to touch anything, and you can touch stuff in this and make things go a bit longer. Oh, wow. So we gotta get right. that. Get that. We gotta get the... Uh, uh, the hold it in my other hand. <laughs> 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 I guess he was holding it with, like, the cup of his hand, so... Yeah. That's all right. Uh, wipe his off for good measure. That off as well. Ooh, there's still scotch in here. Oh, 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 oh. Anyway, got turns that. out that part is poison. <laughs> Magnifying glass. Magnifying glass as no, well. not the actual glass, you numb nuts. Just the handle. Gets that toy. Doesn't get that. You know, whatever. <laughs> Don't ask. All right, uh, music that. box. Uh, music yep. of books. Music box right here. The police will be here any second. I'm almost finished. <laughs> Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. <laughs> okay, anything else? I don't think so. There's a couple few things here. Oh, uh, we touched his shoulder. Uh, the uh, glass cases that Lauren leaned on. Squeaky, squeaky. More things, I think. Get his shoulder. Missing a few things still. D how do you know? I mean, you can leave at any time, but... Uh, you barely touched anything, though. The front door. Oh. First time playing this, I miss the front door. Oh dear. Alright. Uh, is, is that it? Now let's do one more quick look around here. They're coming. They're coming. They're coming. Scott Shelby, they're coming. Make sure that there's nothing else here. I gotta tell you off here. Just, you know, uh, 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 stop! I'm running out of time. I gotta move faster. I would love it if Lauren was just panicking and started, like, banging her... <laughs> her, her hands... Her hands <laughs> on the window... Fingerprint, fingerprint. Someone's dead! Fingerprint, fingerprint, fingerprint. That's fingerprint. <laughs> so why I told you not to come along! 
So. What? That's it. Did you see that too? I got what I got. It should be enough to prevent them from. Is there somebody in the background? Come on. No, just people walking by here. Damn it. So that's it. We're good. We got everything. At least I think we did. We're fucked. We're good. Oh, seriously? Because this scene would end with him home. just, you know, being being questioned. No like, what way. are you doing there? It's like, oh, we're just, we're just saying, hey, I didn't know what happened to him. It's like, are you sure? Yeah. Hey, please forget about it. Listen, Lauren, I know you want to... So, like I said, there are a lot of things in Heaven that I like. And uh, the way this scene things. goes, I kind of like. I'm not a child. I know what I have to do. I want to but find myself... Why doesn't David Cage do movies? Stop. I mean, for real. Because they would be about a six out of ten on Rotten Tomatoes. I know well, it's a percentage. Without her. I refuse to be responsible for anything that goes wrong. Woo. Stop the car. What? Stop the what? Stop the fucking car. Hey, what? The, whoa, whoa, hey, 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 whoa, 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 what are you doing? Stop. Let go of the fucking wheel. Jeez, whoa, whoa. Uh, that's not good. Nothing happens. Oh, really? That's just, just, uh, oh, I guess I better insert some gameplay here. Here we go. If you're not gonna help me find a bastard to kill my Johnny, I'll do it on my own. What made you think I wasn't trying I didn't, to find him? I'm trying to do this so that way you don't get hurt. Just... <sighs> now run her over. This girl's stubborn as a mule. Telling me. She doesn't let up, with or without me. <laughs> well, it's, let's be understanding here. I mean, we can't... She she is a mother in mourning. She is grief-stricken, and her grief is what pushes her, and... Well, let's go ahead and talk to her. I mean, come on. Time to hug it out. Laura! Come here, Lauren. I didn't mean it. Come on. <laughs> they have you do this. I have to walk to her, actually. <laughs> Miss him. I miss him so much. Hey, get off the street, asshole! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd do anything to hold him once again in my arms. Well, let's go dig up his corpse. Caress. So, let's be cool here. This, I think this is the best option. Just, you know... Have my tent coat. Put there the, you go. Put the coat around it because, you know, if you say so, it's like, oh, sorry, you know, whatever. And if you uh, try to caress her, you're a fucking pervert. But hey, just caress her. Come on. Let's go back to the car. I know you're hurting. It was a pretty stressful day. You know, it's all good. You know it's hotter than a stripper, Lauren? A woman in mourning. Shut Woo! Up. Wins the funeral. Shut up, Scott. We'll see you next time on Heavy Rain.